legislative palace. It was built somewhere around 1900 when Uruguay was really, 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 really wealthy and it has lots and lots of marble in it. And the house of the, the, the Senate and the, legis or, yeah, the legislature. Yeah. Well, this is the legislative building where they have their Congress and their Senate. And it is a building that they asked an architect to build. And he decided he didn't want to just build a Congress building. He would rather build a palace. So they asked for more money and he built a palace. There are numerous kinds of um, marble and all kinds of granite, all of it from Uruguay. The building is the legislative palace in Montevideo. It was finished in 1925. Uh, it's made out of marble and granite, all of which we have done here in uh, Uruguay. It's very art. Again, the building itself is wonderful. Here in the back of the picture. It's where the, uh, the chamber of Senate, the Senate chamber and the deputy, the deputy's chamber meet uh, the Uruguay legislature. The historical significance of this building. This was actually a castle of a chocolate maker. You see, he was the cousin of the conqueror of Sweden. And so he brought back a lot of Swiss chocolate from his brother's house. And he said, you know, I need a good place to store all this chocolate that won't get too hot. Well, marble, as you can see, marble, it stays very cold. If you touch the wall, touch it, Schlindy. So it's very cool. <laughs> and so if you if you'll come look down there in that velvet box guarded by those men is the very first chocolate bar ever brought to Uruguay. And it, it's not Hershey's because it's from Swiss. Swiss? Switzerland. So it's actually a brand called Hermann Lubin. And it's delicious. Well, there's a lot of granite and it's really old. And it's kind of like a palace and the White House. Well, not the White House. The Capitol building. I'm a U.S. citizen. And um, it's got a library, which is pretty legit. And it looked really cool, but they're doing interviews. So I can't see what it looks like. But I saw lots of books. So I'm pretty excited. And the end. Well, Autumn, I'd like to first tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Kate Williams. I'm a junior biochemistry major from Abilene Christian University. I've come to Uruguay to be able to study biochemistry in a cross-cultural environment. As most of you probably already know, because you're watching my video, you must know me fairly well, that biochemistry really is an integration of chemistry and biology that really, it doesn't matter what race or what culture you're in, because it's the same everywhere. And if it's not, you die. This legislative wow. palace here is called a palace for several reasons. First of all, according to Matt, it started off as the palace of a Swiss slash Swedish. His something. brother conquered. Swedes. His brother conquered Sweden. He's not Swedish. And I don't think that story's true. Yeah. So we're going to go with Autumn's story. Autumn's story, as you recall, is that, that this castle was actually not built to be a castle, but built to be a palace for the Congress, which is made up of the House of Representatives and the Senate, for the country of the Oriental Republic of Uruguay. See, Dr. Kelly. I was listening. 